Howdy folks, this is Justro at Metcalf Mills bringing you Fun Fact Friday because this day and time facts are hard to come by. Got one today about sweet taters. I hope you enjoy it. I got a little video here for you. Uh, it's about sweet taters. Now I've got some sweet taters here. They're called Nancy Hall. And they're a real old variety. They're white. And they're absolutely the best sweet tater that I've ever eat. Uh, we, my family, we we've always eat the white sweet taters. We like them better, and it's what mother and daddy like the best, and therefore that's what I like the best. But these Nancy Halls, my mother put them in the basement of her house. I know it was over two years ago, and I found them in there in a basket. And they got sprouts on them about six inches long. Well, a foot long. And they've been in there two years. So this is a storage crop. If you got the right conditions, these things are going to hang around for you. And they'll be there when you need them. So I talked to Danny. We've always bedded our sweet taters early, like in March. And I was talking to Dan Mr. Danny down there at Deep South Homestead. If you don't know Danny and Wanda, you need to. Check them out, Deep South Homestead. And Danny, he's kind of the tater-tarian of sweet taters, in my opinion. His opinion may be different, but Mr. Danny, I talked to him, and he kind of advised me the best way to do this on uh, bedding these sweet taters right now and trying to get some slips and trying to grow a few taters to have have something to go off of next year, so... That's what we're going to try to do. I don't have many of them, but you can always just take the vines and root new plants. And this may be something, if it starts turning cold and going to frost on them, I may try to put something over them and keep them going as long as I can to make whatever we can. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, this is what I'm going to do. So right here's our sweet taters. This is just how I found them in this basket. And like I said, I know they've been in there at least two years. But my mother saved these things, and they've kept good. They're starting to get some spots, but that's still firm. That's not soft. And look at these sprouts. So we're going to bed these babies in here and see what we can get out of them. And Mr. Danny said he uses just like a protein tub, that, like cattle protein comes in, mineral. I found this plastic tub here at the house I'm going to use, and I've got about a foot of pot and soil in there. And all, the only pot and soil I could find had fertilizer mixed in with it. See that? I don't like that, but it's all I could find. I hope that's not going to be a problem, but uh, we'll see. But I'm just going to dig down in here and try to bed these sweet taters in as best I can. Be all right. All right, Char, we're going to dig us a trench over here. Probably been easier to put half of it in, put the taters in, and then do it the rest of the way. But I don't know if Mr. Danny will see this or not, but I kind of hope he does so he can say, well, you need to do this or that or whatever. But Well, there's more white ones in here than what I thought. Bed them things down in there. I guess leave the sprout sticking out. I don't know. We'll find out. I've always bedded them and they wouldn't sprouted. So we'll see what they does. And one thing Danny pointed out on these plastic tubs, like in protein tubs and stuff, or mineral tubs, uh, the sun will heat the outside of that tub and make it nice and warm and that makes them things want to come alive you know when they get nice and warm they want to they want to get out there and grow and some of the shoots are starting to dry up i guess they just they went as far as they could go and couldn't go no more if that'll grow it broke off the tater but we'll stick it down in here and see 
it's a little this stuff's a little bit moist i don't know i have to check with danny and see what he thinks about the moisture there's some other taters here that i'll have to bed in something else but we're gonna try these babies and see what happens and man i hope they do because i was afraid that we'd lost the seed stock to these but uh We ain't, so. We'll just see what happens, folks. See what they do. I hope they grow. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this little video on bed and sweet taters today. I hope these things do good. I'll keep you all up to date on how they're doing. And hopefully, if you've never done it, maybe you can do some next year. I was worried because it's so late and they had them big sprouts on them. I didn't know how they would act, but we'll find out. If you enjoyed this, hit like, subscribe to my channel. If you ain't already, hit that notification bell. Try to spend just a little bit of time this weekend watching Metcalf Mills videos. This is Justro. I look forward to seeing you next time.